guys it's jackie from naturally glam where we talking about all things natural all things glam and a whole lot of self-care whether you are new here or you're returning i just want to take a moment to say hey girl hey welcome or welcome back to my channel i am glad that you are here there's no other place that i would rather be and there's no other place i'd rather you be than here with me on our channel so we can talk about all things natural all things glam and my favorite, a whole lot of self-care. So, I am back with another video. But this time, I'm going to do something a little different. I enjoy watching these types of videos. So, I wanted to try to make this type of video for you. I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to try it anyway. So, I have nine products here that i've really 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 been loving lately and i wanted to share them with you most of them are skincare products and so um the only other products that are not skincare is i have a deodorant that i've been trying lately and three perfumes and if you know me you know that i could talk all day and all night about fragrance so i'll save those three for last since I only have one thing that is not fragrance or um, skincare, I'll go ahead and start with the deodorant. Um, this deodorant is an all-natural deodorant by Dr. Teals. Um, this one is in the fragrance Eucalyptus and Essential Oils. Um, it has magnesium, shea butter, arrowroot powder um, in it as well. Um, so if you've been following my journey on trying to find a natural deodorant, you will know that the struggle has been beyond real. I started out with one that I thought that I could go the distance with, but what I have found out through the years that if a natural deodorant has baking soda in it, I can't use it. So this one does have baking soda in it. It's listed as the fourth or fifth ingredient. And I do find that I have a little bit of irritation with it. But because I only use it at night, it's not as severe as if I were using it twice a day. Because I do shower twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. And so I use this Dr. Teal's um, for nighttime. It smells amazing. And to me, it's the perfect fragrance for nighttime. Um, I'm still on the hunt to find an all-natural deodorant that I can wear during the day. I have quite a few of them actually chosen in my Sephora um, wish list but among some of them are there's one by Briogeo um, I think that one is a eucalyptus one as well I do really love eucalyptus deodorants um, there's one by the more most popular brand Rio de Janeiro I want to try that one I think Drunk Elephant has one uh, Capari has one so there are a few that I have not tried yet that I am looking forward to trying um, but this one so far is working for me um, at night. The only time I don't wear it at night is when I shave. Um, because I do shave um, under my armpits. It seems like it's like I get it's more sensitive after I shave. So I don't use it after I shave. In fact, after I shave, I just use like rosehip seed oil or something like that. And just kind of use that um, instead. And then the next night I will use my... Dr. Teal. So love that. I got it from Walmart. I'm sure you can find it at Target, Amazon, wherever you get your um, self-care stuff. But I really do like it. And for now, I will continue to buy. Now, if one of the other ones that I've mentioned does me better, then I will switch. Um, but I do love the fragrance. It's really, really fresh, really clean. I love eucalyptus and spearmint anyways. This one doesn't have spearmint, but it's eucalyptus and essential oils. So, love that for me. Okay, let's move on to some skincare. Um, so, this one is also a popular product. Um, it's a brightening and clearing serum. This is my second tube of the product. The first time I brought... Um, the full size the second time i only bought the mini the 0 0.5 fluid ounces because i didn't think that i needed it because a large tube 
did most of what I needed it to do. However, I didn't know it was going to turn around and be a whole other thing. So if you don't know what I'm talking by, about by now, I'm talking about this faded topicals. Let's see. I know it's really bright. Hold on, let me bring it back some. Faded topicals. Um, and so what this does is it um, fades dark spots. It has transenzymic acid, melatonin, niacinamide, and kojic acid. Um, they recommend you to start once a week and work your way up to daily use. Uh, but me, of course, I'm hard-headed. I came out the gate using it daily because my skin is not that sensitive when it comes to um, facial skin products. And I knew that I would be, well, I figured I would be okay. Um, it did the, it did the job. Now it didn't fit because I had several really dark spots on my face from like hormonal acne. Um, it didn't, it wasn't overnight, obviously, but it took, I don't know, probably like a month before my dark spots were faded. Um, I didn't take any before pictures cause honestly it was a mess. Um, uh, but I can show you that. This spot here, this one here, were really dark. Um, and so it faded them to what you can see. And as you can see, it's hardly visible anymore. I do have a couple of new dark spots because hormonal acne just be killing me, okay? Um, drop, a, drop a heart in the comments, a red heart in the comments if you can identify because hormonal acne is a beast. But I got a pimple on my nose here. And then I got a couple of small spots on my nose because for me, a telltale tell sign that my period is on the way is I'll get a pimple on my nose. And I can't stand for it to be there, so I'll do pop it. I have a chin mark here that I just started using it with because I get hairs and I never thought that I would ever have to say that. Because I used to watch my mama pluck her hair. She'd be in the mirror like with her tweezers, you know, pulling her hairs. And I'd be like, ugh. And like looking like, wow, you got hair growing out of your chin, huh? <laughs> you know, here I am, hair growing out of my chin. And some of them got nerve to be gray. Like, what do you do that at? So anyway, sometimes I get ingrown hairs. And I have to kind of go in there and pull the hair out. And as a result, it, you know, it's a mess, girl. So anyway, this really helps. I should have gotten the larger size again. So when I run, as you can see, I'm halfway through this one. And when I run out of this, I will absolutely keep this in my arsenal. And I use this every night. I don't use it during the day. I just use it at night before I go to bed um, underneath one of my other products that I'll show you in a moment. But yeah, love this. I might as well go ahead and talk about my moisturizer that I use after I use the faded um, and it's by fresh it is their rose deep hydration sleeping mask it is supposed to replenish and lock in hydration and this is a fairly large container it is one point I know this is more than 1.18 ounces Anyway, the bottom says, I don't know, it's weird. I can't really understand what this is saying. It says 1.18 fluid ounces, but it says two times. So I don't know if that means it's 2.40. I, I don't know. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, Lord, you ain't going to see that. Right there. I don't know. So anyway, this is what it looks like. It's a fresh rose deep hydration mask i'm sorry this light is so bright i can't really i'm in a bad space in the house and i would have tried to do this downstairs but my kids are downstairs online with their little sister cousin playing games and i can't get downstairs anyway so um the thing i love about this it smells amazing and you know i'm a sucker for a good fragrance but more than that I've had this for a couple of months and I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm getting close to the end now, 
but this is one thing i really really love about this mask is that on this side it's like a gel consistency and on this side it's a cream consistency and what you do is you put the gel on first let that sit a minute or two whatever and then you follow it up with the cream side and it's double more man my face is so moisturized after i apply this um i love it and it's a 10 out of 10 for me and i will buy it forever this to me is a holy grail product um it does smell amazing it smells a little bit like rose but yeah it's rosy but it's not nasty rosy it's not artificial rosy it really smells like you went outside and, and got you a couple of roses from the garden. It's not overwhelming. It's not really artificial. I've smelled some really horrible rose smelling fragrances and this ain't it. So what I do at night is after I wash and tone with this next product that I am going to show you, which I should have probably shown you first in the order that I use it, but anyway. So after I use the faded, I go in with the fresh and my skin is very moisturized at night. Um, I absolutely love it. 10 out of 10. Um, the toner I have is by a brand called The Ordinary. Um, I love this brand because they are so affordable. Um, I can't remember what I paid for this really large size. It's eight fluid ounces. Um, I can't remember what I paid for, but it was really reasonable. I mean, it couldn't have been any more than $15 um but it's huge and I've had it for probably maybe two months and I'll show you how much I've used so this is um their glycolic acid 7% toning solution which has a pH of 3.6 um and I love it because their formulations are um it says clinical formulations with integrity so they don't have a lot of fluff to their products, but I really, really like their products. This isn't the first one that I bought from them, um, but I really, really love it. And let's see. I don't know if I do it close, it ain't gonna work. So let's see. Oops, sorry. Let me try to turn this light down. So this is so bright. Let me see if that helps. Ooh, it helps a little bit. So it's the ordinary. I'll put a picture up here. So I know this isn't really great to see, but look at how much I've used. And I've had this for a couple months. So this is easily gonna last me for, I don't know, seven, eight months minimum. So I love that. So I wash, I use this with a toner with those little um, white pads, just kind of swipe all over, give it a minute or two to let it dry. Then I go with, with my faded, um, this right here. And then I let that sit for about a minute or two. And then I go in with my rose mask. So that's what I do at night. Um, I wash with my used to the people um, face wash. Um, but most recently I bought the one by CeraVe, the one for normal to dry skin. Um, it has hyaluronic acid in it. Um, so I'm testing out now. I didn't bring that one out here because I don't know if I love it yet. It doesn't have any fragrance. It's completely unscented, which always takes me aback. And I know a lot of fragrance isn't good for you, but I just like good smelling stuff. So the jury's still out on that one to see if I, um, love it or not. But I love my youth to the people. I've been using that for probably a year now. And I absolutely love it. That is my number one favorite cleanser, but it doesn't have any type of acids in it. So I did want something with hyaluronic acid. So if I love the, um, if I end up loving the CeraVe, CeraVe moisturizer, I mean face wash, I will use that one at night and my use to the people during the day. And that's how I would do that. So anyway, um, moving on to um, another product by The Ordinary, it's a hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 um, serum. I'll show you what that looks like. Can you see that? 
um i love this serum um i have to say though i'm gonna be honest i didn't really see a whole lot of difference when i use it on its own but what i have done is i have bought vitamin c because i also you know read and heard that vitamin c also helps fade discolorations as well and so and it brightens as well so i wanted to give it a try so there's a brand called the inky list some of you may be familiar um but they have a vitamin c is that upside down hold on there we go vitamin c the inky list here um and it's a cream um this is a very small um bottle it's one fluid ounces I wanted something small to just kind of try it out and you're going to see the theme with me going forward is I'm going to buy everything in a smaller um, size. Try it out before I buy the bigger size. I've wasted a lot of money but we're just going in with the bigger size of whatever it is and not knowing if I really love it. So I'm not going to do that anymore. So I bought um, this from Sephora and I think everything came from Sephora that I've shown you so far, except for the deodorant that came from Walmart. Um, but what I've done, because if you use this by itself, it does tend to sting, and that's whether I've exfoliated or not. So what I've done is I mix the two of these together. I put some of this in my palm, and I put a couple of drops of this. As you can see, I've used quite a bit. Um, and I mix them together, and then I go in. Um, it still stings a tiny bit, but I mean, I can handle it. It's, it's all good. Um, so that's it for the skincare portion. Um, so all out of all these products, I would repurchase them all again. I really like everything that I mentioned so far. Well, I like everything because that's why I'm sharing it with you is because these are products I'm really, 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 really loving right now. And I just thought I'd share because I love watching these types of videos. Okay, so now we're getting to my favorite part. I have one, two, three fragrances that I really, really love. And I wanted to share them with you. Um, they're all sample sizes, so don't let that throw you off. But like I said, I've wasted money on buying full-size bottles of perfume that I don't even hold up let me get my shoulder back out hold on <laughs> i've wasted money buying full-size deodorants that i don't even use anymore i've given away quite a few full-size bottles because after a few uses i didn't like it anymore i didn't like the way it smelled on me or it smells different on me than it smells in a bottle so from now on i'm only buying little sizes sample sizes I'm gonna wear it for a while and then decide if I like it or love it because I have so many perfumes and fragrances on a list that I can't afford to spend money on a full-size product that I don't absolutely love I have it's ridiculous almost how many fragrances that I have that I want to smell that I want to try and maybe half of them I don't like, but if even half of them survive, it's just a lot of perfume. So I want to make sure that what I buy in a full size, I love. So we're going to start with the largest sample size. Um, some of you may or may not know I have subscribed to Scentbird. This is not sponsored. But again, I wanted a way to try it before I commit to a full size bottle. So Scentbird to me is the perfect way to do that. I know this sounds sponsored, but it's really not. Um, I only get one vial a month, which I am probably next month going to upgrade to two or three. Um, but I pay about $17 for one um, fluid, well, one vial. I wanna show you how large the vial actually is. It's almost like a deluxe sample. If I were to put it in the palm of my hand, that's how big it is. And this particular fragrance I love. It is called Illuminaire Intensa by Vince Camuto. Um, 
it smells so good um this is perfect for a summer night date um going out for brunch with your girlfriends um i would definitely rate this for a summer maybe early early fall um fragrance um i do feel like it's very um what's the word i'm looking for it's flexible that's not the word i'm looking for but that's what i mean like it's good for daytime it's good for night i'm like it's really versatile that's the word i'm looking for it's really versatile you can wear it in the day at night in the middle of the day you know um spring i don't know I, this may even i don't know if i will wear it in the winter just because i tend to go for you know more i'm gonna call them hearty fragrances during the winter ones that kind of stick with you throughout the cold weather and this isn't really to me this isn't really one that i would reach for in the winter time because it's more florally it's more it's sweet it's floral it's light it's sexy um but i it, it does it's not winter i'm gonna go over a, i have a winter fragrance that i will swear by um now but anyway it's um from scentbird and the thing i also like about scentbird is that they do have designer fragrances like this one but they also have boutique fragrances so there are fragrances that you may not have heard of before but you may really like so they do have a balance i do wish they had more designer fragrances than they do and maybe that will change in the future but for right now they have some um but they also have boutique fragrances that you may or may not have heard of. And I do really like that because it gives me a chance to try something that I wouldn't normally reach for. Um, it comes in this little, I'm going to call it an atomizer because I don't know what it's called. Um, and there's a hole in there. So you just stick it in like that. And then you can just spray from here. And then when you don't want to use it, you twist it and it goes down. Okay. twist it to open down to close it's perfect because it's enough because these other other ones well this this one other one that i'm going to show you is a smaller the regular standard sample size that you would get like at a fragrance counter or like i got it in a free sample with an order um but this size is a size that you can take with you um in your purse on vacation specifically um, without having to take you know this gigantic bottle of perfume so i really really like this fragrance it's sweet it's floral it's very very sexy it's very alluring um i'm in love the next one that i'm going to talk about is a recent one that i've heard a lot about but i was never interested in trying it but when i ordered some of this other stuff from sephora you know they if you shop at sephora you know that they give you i think two two samples in every order i'm always going to go for the fragrance because it's usually something in there that i don't have i've never smelled and i'm not really into makeup that much but i'm give me all the fragrance okay so this is by replica this is jazz club by mason margella um and this is a smaller sample Hold on. baby let me tell you something What I didn't know is that I could like love a fragrance like this. I don't know what the notes are. I haven't done the research to be honest because I just haven't taken the time to do it. What I know is that I will most definitely be buying this in the larger um, size. They make a candle as well. I don't know if I want my perfume to match my candle. It's kind of weird to me. Some people do it to each his own but this is so 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 good it's hearty this is the one that i was talking about that i would definitely wear um in the winter time to me this gives fall and winter all day long but it's versatile enough to where you can wear it in the summer in the spring because of the sweetness it's very very sweet so if you don't like sweet fragrances this is not your girl but 
it is sweet and it is also heavy there's got to be some amber I don't know about bergamot, but there's something in this that makes it so heavy on the base. And I'm going to do some research and maybe by the time I edit this video, I'll put like some notes or something up here. Um, but it smells, I mean, literally like a jazz club. Like, I don't know how they did it, how they captured it in a bottle. But I mean, I really can see being in a smoky jazz club, you know, with cigars the sweet one, the extra sweet ones, you know, in the air, like, it's wonderful. I love it. I never thought that I would love it. And you know, the thing about this is it's actually unisex. Typically, when I think of unisex perfumes, I always think of like the ocean, the really clean smell. And I don't typically go for those fragrances. This one, I would love this on my husband. I would love this on my brother. I would love this on my sister-in-law. I love it on me. I'm wearing it today. And I try to be careful not to wear it too much because as you can see, I only have a little bit left and it was full. And I mean, I'm almost reaching for this on a daily basis. So this thing is something serious, y'all. So if you get a chance to try it, um, let me know what you think. If you love it, drop it in the comments. If you don't like it, drop it in the comments. Um, but, honey, this one is everything. I'm going to just tell you right now. I don't have anything. Else. There's nothing else to say about it. It's wonderful. The last one um, that I'm going to share with you right now is by um, Nest New York. This is also a sample size. I bought out of Sephora. They have, I think it's eight. Um, so I bought all eight. Out of eight of them, I'm probably obsessed with six or seven of them that I can think right off the top. And this one is numero uno, honey. This one is the Sun Kissed Hibiscus. Why my hand looks so big? Oh no. I don't like that. I don't know if y'all can read it. Hold on. Anyway, it's called Sun Kissed Hibiscus. I'll put a picture um, of the real bottle um, there. But, baby. If date in a bottle was a fragrance... This, to me, is probably, and I, it's too early to tell because there's so many perfumes that I have not tried, but this, to me, is signature scent worthy. I have never smelled or tried any of the Nest fragrances, and shout out to the Glam Twins for putting me on, but um, they mentioned this one, and they also mentioned a Wild Poppy one, which I'm was a wild poppy. okay so this one wild poppy and black tulip i'm obsessed with them all but this one right here is bay if i had to throw all of them away and i could only keep one this is if you want your man all up in your area this is if you have on that little black dress and you going out why does my shirt keep doing that weird sorry y'all it just looks weird when it's all it's weird um this is little black dress this is i'm i can go out to an event this is i'm just gonna run errands all day but this is the epitome to me it's the epitome of what a woman smells like not a little girl not a teenager not a senior citizen but somebody who is seasoned they know who they are. They are confident. They they are they just know what it is. They are I hate this. I don't hate it, but it's so overused. But that girl, that girl, that woman, she wears this, and I've had it for a little while, but I've used quite a bit. If I were to show you my other ones, they're not quite as used as this one. This one I reach for all the time as it stands now between this one and this one 
they're fighting over who's going to be my signature scent. And the thing I love about them both is they have something in them that makes them smell not the same, but similar. Like I can see why I love them both because they have something similar um, in them that just really, really grabs me. Um, they last all day, both of them. Um, this one lasts all day, but these really last all day. So anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that um, by sharing some of my favorites, it encourages you to try some of the products that I mentioned. Um, so anyway, that's it. I don't want to ramble on too much longer. This video is already longer than I anticipated it to be. But anyway, I just want to, if you've made it to the end, thank you. Um, I will see you in the next one. Next one. Don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, help me grow my channel, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.